What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Check on this play Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Part 1. Here we are at the beginning of the game in the menu screen, and the only two things you can see here is two player competition mode and one player, and that's the mode we'll be picking. And so you can see you have several different options, and you have uh, the ability to have a save file here. No save would be you don't get to save your progress, you just play through the game in one shot, kind of like uh, Sonic, Sonic 1 and 2. Sonic, uh, this one you can see here. I have all the Chaos Emeralds, and I can have, I can play Super Sonic on this save file, and you can just go through and like stage select and go through the different zones, uh, and then you can delete. Uh, you can delete. You just go and you can pick one, and you can delete it. But I don't want to do, do that right. Now. Right now we'll go through, and you can see you can either choose Sonic, Tails, or Sonic and Tails together. I will do Sonic and Tails together because. There's no, uh, Tails doesn't really affect you in this game like he does in other games, or I guess the computer does it, so. But you, you early on, you know, early on you get to see what Super Sonic looks like, but right now we'll go ahead and move on. So, you can see there's, uh, the sprites look a lot different, the, you know, a lot of things look different, and there's a new move. It's a little shield uh, if you can use to you if it, you can use to uh, hurt enemies with if you uh, if you just go like that you can hurt enemies without actually having to touch them so that that, that helps out quite a bit. Uh, you don't have to hit that you don't have to hit that guy and you can grab onto those those uh, hand the swinging vines if you want to but we won't do that right now. I want to go. To all right, sorry about the cut. Uh, the, I guess when the screen transitioned to white, it stopped the capture. So now I, I had to. I was already a little bit way uh, way into the special stage before I realized it. But um, it, this it, you'll see it again because I'll now that I know I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have a problem with this. I'm gonna be paying more attention in the future. But uh, pretty much all you have to do is just collect the blue spheres. You have a certain number when you go in to the special stages that you just you collect them and uh, you said yeah all you have to do is just collect the collect the loose blue spheres you can collect rings if you collect 50 rings in this uh, in this special stage you will gain a continue and if you gain if you can collect all the rings which which uh, you cannot do if you collect all the blue spheres at the same time and if there's any rings still hanging around, you will you will not be able to get perfect, which I will not be doing. Which you know, perfect, but all that is is just collecting all the rings. Actually, I might be able to do it for this one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yep, okay, I did. Yeah, so what that does, let me try to. Uh, what that does is it gives you 50,000 points to go into the to add your score, and it, for every 50,000 point. White screen transition. Uh, you will gain a life for every 50,000 points you collect, and so that will give you a for sure 50,000 points. Let me try to pause it here because I know the screen. Oh no, let me see. Okay, it looks like I'm good. All right, so uh, and if you notice in the we're with the. Special stage, the speed picked up quite a bit, and that will make it a lot harder, especially in that little section that I just went through. And we, yeah, we don't have to get this, but I just want to show it off. This is a bubble shield, and what it allows you to do is it allows you to jump, get a little bit higher jump, and it protects you from small projectiles. And I'll be able to show that off. Sure, show that off. And you can also breathe underwater while using it. And you can also break this ground here. I don't think Tails is pushing against me. Uh, but you can either spin dash to get under there, or you can use the bubble shield to get down there. And go this way real quick. Because if we go this way, we can go into this. We really don't need the continue. This is a bonus stage, and what it is... Uh, I think it's supposed to be like a big gumball machine. Um, you can see the different colored spheres. The red.
red ones give you a fire shield, the blue ones give you a bubble shield, and the greenish yellow one, or the, the greenish yellow ones give you a lightning shield, pink ones give you a life, and I, I think, I'm not sure what, what the color where the other ones are, um, but what it is is it resets the the platform underneath you, the shield that you would that you would have gotten, or not, not the shield, the um the springs on the bottom of the of the screen reset so that you can if you do fall for any reason you can get back up immediately. Now it's actually if you can destroy this before it launches the, the bombs, uh, this this won't happen. This background, the the background won't catch on, or I guess the island won't catch on fire. And if you noticed, the shield that's that's the special effect that the fire shield has. It can and it can withstand fire. But um, the only way to to defeat that uh, that little uh, the it's, it's, it's a mini boss. Pretty much. We'll talk about that one, once I get to it, but. I don't know why I keep losing my shield when I enter this. I don't know if it shouldn't be, but um, the only way you can defeat that that thing is if you have two players with you, or if, you're, if someone else is using tails, but if a player two is using tails, and you can see what the fire shield does, it allows you to break rocks, which you couldn't have broken rocks by spin dashing. But all right, welcome back. You know, same thing happened again. Um, so you can see it, it says get the blue spheres and that's all you have to do is just get the blue spheres and start. And you know, collect, collect as many as rings, rings as you can. Preferably you'd like to at least collect 50 so you can get the, the continue, but I'm not sure if every single special stage has enough, has 50 rings for you to get for sure. And at the start you can either wait for the, get the blue spheres, uh, message to go away, or you can just push start to, to, uh, start the special stage. I don't think there's any, I don't, I don't think it really matters if you do, if you're just impatient, or if you just want to go ahead and get, get through with it, you can do that. You cannot stop yourself, and you cannot speed up the game, the game will gradually speed up it the longer you go, and you will get to a certain, you know, there will be a, a spot where you will go at your highest speed, and then you will, you will look which is what I'm pretty much doing is the highest speed and that will require faster reaction times. If you hit the silver spheres with the stars in them, they will bounce you backwards and you can go forwards again. All you have to do is just push forwards, but you can't but you cannot run forwards yourself. If you hit one of the red spheres, you that is uh, you do fail the special stage, but in this in this instance I wouldn't have hit the special the red sphere. I think if I would have jumped I would have missed the blue sphere. So you don't have to worry about that. Let me make sure. It, it worked out fine, um, but yeah, you know, that's pretty much what it is. Each one will get harder and harder as you go on. The patterns will change, and the, the locations of the blue spheres will change as well. But you can see you do, you do keep everything. You keep all your rings, you keep any shields you had in, had in it, had in it, and it takes you back to the spot where you was before. Fire shield or a or a lightning shield in the water. Okay, so, I, I, uh, this is the way I want to go. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go back on top over here this way. Um, if you if you go in, in the water with a fire shield or a lightning shield, you will lose that shield. So you want to be careful. And pay attention. And you can see the small projectiles like I was talking about. Uh, you don't get damaged by them. I want to get this other this lightning shield here real quick because I'll show this off. And you can do a small double jump and it attracts rings that are around you 
to you. It's not a for sure thing because you can you can outrun the rings, but it you know it does work out pretty well. And you can see these rocks. You, if I had the fire shield, I would not have been able to break them. That is a path that you can only go down with knuckles. And there are there will be some paths in the in the game where you won't be able to go down them with Sonic. And this is the mini boss. It's the same mini boss that we just fought or that we just saw. That shot all the fire bombs and you know, if you have the fire shield you can it's very easy to defeat. And now the signpost you can jump you know you can hit it to get the, the extra points. You can see the time stops once you defeat the boss so you can just sit here and do this all the time. And if you get lucky you can actually have different uh, TV boxes pop out of the ground but you know I'm not gonna spend much time with that. I'm just gonna keep moving on. So, uh, we'll just keep going. And there we go, there's another. Alright, welcome back. Uh, this is the last special stage that you can get in this zone, uh, the Angel Island zone. There is not a set number of, of these ring, or these uh, special stage rings, you know, for each zone, because uh, some zones won't even have them for Sonic and Tails, like the next zone that we're going to go to, you can't get to a, there, there is no special stage rings in, in that particular zone, and if you notice, you know, you can see, you can see some blue spheres on the other sides of the red spheres, it, this is a path that as long as you follow, I don't think, I don't think you can jump two spheres at a time, the jump is just kind of like a small hop, I should have showed it off in the first special stage, because that would have been the easiest one. This one isn't a very good place to show off jumping, to be totally honest, so that's why I'm not going to do it. Uh, there there will be other open field type special stages, so I'll show those off, or I'll try to show off the jumping then. Okay, you can see what I was talking about with the speed of the change, it makes it a lot more difficult, and this is where I won't get the... There are different things you could have, that I could have done to ensure that I got perfect, but I don't really care all that much. I, all I care about is getting the Chaos Emerald the first time. I am playing the Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection version of this game, so... I, I can save if I need to, but these are, you know, very easy special stages compared to the other special stages that we've played in Sonic's 1, 2, and CD, so... I'm not too worried, you know, if I feel like I need to, I will, of course, but I don't think I will have to. And you see the shield goes out immediately. As I said, both lightning shields and fire shields will do that. We'll just keep going. Because that was the last special stage of this, uh, of this particular zone, I'm not going to worry about exploring too much. That would be the only reason why you would explore is just to find other special stages, but I said that because that one is the last special stage, I'm not going to bother with it. I'm pretty sure that this is the last special stage anyway. I may be wrong, but I'm almost certain it is. Shields can dodge these little small projectiles. But I don't think every single projectile you can dodge with the shields. I'm pretty sure there are some that you can't. I'm 
not sure if you can actually hit, dodge those coconuts that those monkeys throw. I think I need a fire shield on the trap. That's what I'm gonna try to get when I go to the bonus stage. So I guess you do lose your shield. And you can see, you know, obviously, the clear ones don't give you anything. That's the lightning shield. And tails you can't actually collect them for you. And that's a repeat, so that, all that does is just... But I did get this, so I should be able to do a double jump, which should help me fight the boss, because I'm that's where I'm at. Right here, I'm about to fight the boss. Why still listen to doing it? All you have to do is just stay ahead of the bomb, but just keep running. You won't have to worry about taking any damage from the from the bombs as long as you keep running. If you jump or do anything, slow yourself and you'll take damage from the bombs. But so just keep running forward. And you can see Robotnik there in the background. Now of course the fire shield would, would be a, a lot better because what he uses and he can actually do. And another good reason to have tails, and this is also another good reason to have tails in Sonic 2, is uh, he will actually, you know, he, he can damage Robotnik to get, if you can hit him, but he doesn't jump nearly as high as Sonic does. And you can see the reason why you want to have the fire shield. There is one bad thing about Tails being able to damage enemies, though, that he can actually... Uh, because Robotnik becomes invincible once he gets hit, you can, you can actually jump through Robotnik. And uh, you can you, know, you can die and take damage, or you can just die. You know, if there's a hole over you or whatever, but or anything like a trap underneath you. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and end here. I thank you for watching. Next time we will begin Hydrocity Zone, where this is the zone I was talking about that doesn't have any special stage ranks, so I shouldn't have any of the problems that I've been, that I have been having. So until then, let everyone.